There's three families that are completely dependent on the gold that's going to come off this plant. Yep. Whatever gold's in the sluice box is feeding these guys. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh man. Such an idiot. It's gonna be okay. That's not good, Fred. I forgot to, to open the rear hatch, and then all of a sudden, I'm looking up at the sky. Hopefully this will work. So should I pull the PTO and everything out? Just don't touch anything right now. Okay. That'd probably be the best thing. My brother's probably gonna kick me off the site. Hopefully nothing's permanently damaged. I forgot to pull the handle. 101. Flip well, and then gate. I pushed. The, I pushed it to disengage when it was late, and then it just. It's too late. Oh, straight up. Gravity took its effect. Did you put the brake on? No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just will. bailed. I feel like a flipping idiot. What happened? No, uh, pulling wheelies. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of an interesting way to you know dump the truck. <laughs> it's not the best first impression for <laughs> all the right. first week on the mine. Yeah, hey, that's for all right. For sure. <laughs> Should've seen the look on his face. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> probably won't do it again. Absolutely not. We'll yeah. let you get uh, back at it. it. Thanks, right. guys. Gentle! Oh, you're all right. Oh, my god. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. We got quite a bit of material coming down here that never even has a chance to get washed. Yeah, they're losing gold here. Look at that right there, Brady. You know, as he's dumping material and all that fine material is just going on off the top of it. Yeah. You almost don't even need to pan that to know there's gold in it. That's pay. That's pay that right is there. Pay. Coming right all off that of should it. be going down the sluice box. Just going out on the ground there. I'm gonna say five percent of their material, huh? Yeah, at least five percent. Take her away, Matt. Oh, no. That the hopper is jammed up. Oh, boy. Hurry up. Yeah. That's not good. Hopper's getting plugged up and the material gets wet. You see the bars down there. Sometimes they'll get built up on that and it can't, it won't slide past them. Uh -oh. And we have to do this at least, I don't know, every hour. I mean, yeah. we're up here for five, ten slide. minutes at a time, which takes away from us digging pay out of the cut. The clogged hopper cost the operation a total of five to ten hours per week of critical mining time. We've been fighting it and fighting it. I hope these guys can find a solution to fix that thing. That hopper is slowing them down by a lot. Yep, that's the most important thing here is that hopper. It's plugging up, which is costing them time. You know, and at the end of the day, time is money. Less time running is less gold in the box. That's so. exactly right. There we go. All right, Derek, we got you all fixed up. I'm going to head back down and uh, keep the pay coming. We're four hours now, so. All right, I'll call the boys. I'm gonna shut her down. Sounds good. Well, I'll be curious to see how much gold they end up with. Don't yeah. On top of the five to 10 hours a week lost to the hopper, the young miners lose one full day a week on their cleanup process. You see, that's our problem. It just hangs up in those ambers, man. You yeah. just can't get it out. I don't know what the amber sand is. Yeah, that's really the biggest challenge here. How are you getting that out of that sand? Well, we usually get all the visible we can get, the bigger stuff that we can't separate. And then we will plop some mercury in. Use a mercury. Yeah, that's been the only way we've been able to really capture most of it. So you're getting what you can like that. Yep. And then the rest of it, you're amalgamating. You spend hours panning 
I'm trying to get that fine stuff out of those sands. And you never get it all. You never get it all. Well, I hate to see you using mercury. Mercury, an element used in gold recovery for nearly 3,000 years, absorbs gold, leaving behind other materials. That yeah. mercury is eating it up. The mercury is then vaporized to extract the gold, a dangerous process as the fumes can cause severe poisoning and brain damage. I had one friend that got pretty ill from using it, using it wrong. These guys are using it right, but they're still using it. If there's any way, you know, we can get them to not use it, get them into the 21st century, that'll be good. It's crazy. This is how a lot of the old timers used to clean up their gold, and people still do in a lot of countries around the world. Most people are shifting away from it. You know, in the modern era now, you know, we don't have to use mercury anymore. There's better ways to do it. That's all we've been able to find so far, with our budget at least. Yeah. So. And we understand that you need every speck of gold out of there to pay bills, so. Yeah, every speck counts. Well, I guess uh, finish doing your process on it, and when it's done, we'll grab a scale and see what's there. Clear up. Clean up complete. Got a scale and a pan here. Freddie and Juan weigh up the gold. So this is the stuff you were able to clean up without amalgamating it? Yep, that's and clean stuff. That stuff you had to clean up with mercury, that yep. fine stuff? Taking care of the mercury, yep. Makes your gold brittle, right? You could take your gold yeah, and, break her. and break it right, see it? Jeez. Break it right in half. Yeah. Well, let's weigh it up. Let's weigh it up, huh, on. Yeah. Here you go. For this mine to be viable, the crew need at least 0.7 of an ounce from their four-hour run. 0 0.61. 0 0.61, huh? It's not great, guys. No. It's not horrible, but it's not spectacular. How's that? So a third of their gold are having to use mercury on one. Yeah. That figure it was not a not a good clean out. We really can't afford to have bad clean outs. If it was one guy and one, you know, one family to feed, it'd be all right. But it's taken three of you to get it, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we want to make work is all three of us uh -huh. working together yeah. on this. Yeah, this is definitely not enough to feed our families. Can you help yeah. us? <laughs> yeah, there's ways we can help you. We just need to go talk about it. And All right. Help figure out a game plan. With three of us here, we need every speck of gold that comes out of that box. 